they're helping you with the fight of your life. Ready? I think his overall concept of how he treats the disease and you and your family and your friends, he cares, they care, and they show it in everything that they do and say. Ellie Moore is among the thousands of patients who have benefited from Dr. Philip Salem's humanistic approach to cancer treatment. Thank you. I got diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Since then, I've been doing chemotherapy and now I'm on chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and targeted drugs. Immunotherapy is a new field of cancer medicine. Dr. Salem dares to try these new therapies because so many of his patients are out of other, more standard options. I've been in remission three times. But it is precisely his approach that he feels has saved lives. Most recently, we have come up with the idea of treating some of the difficult diseases to treat using the combination of immunotherapy plus chemotherapy plus targeted therapy. And we have seen very, very impressive results. It has taken him decades of research and a unique medical practice to get there. Knowledge is certainly the cornerstone of the treatment of the patient, but by itself alone is not enough. The cancer patients need love, needs compassion, needs easy access to the doctor. Try to call a doctor nowadays and see what happens. Hello. Dr. Salem is on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Besides his American patients, people come from all over the world to be treated here. It's unique in the world. I feel very safe and cocooned here, although I'm far away from home. Dr. Salem goes to Italy three times a year to treat and meet patients, so she flew there to meet him. He said, I'm going to make you better. We met, I trusted him, and uh, y you must, because you have to hold on to something. I'm in remission, I don't have to fight anymore. I have two daughters. I want to see my grandson uh, marry and go to college, and I have so much to live for. I'm so glad that I found Dr. Salem and that uh, he's, he made me better. He's my big hero. <laughs> Two big things are needed to achieve a cure in cancer. One, perseverance. Two, hope. If the patient and if the treating physician they don't have these two, the patient dies. Philip Salem was born in a small village, Bertram el Kura, in North Lebanon. My father was a man who emphasized the power of education and a mother who taught me the power of love and compassion. After medical school, Dr. Salem wanted to specialize in diseases of the kidney. That changed when a dear friend, denied any medical explanation for her condition, quickly died of ovarian cancer. And I decided to study cancer medicine. I wanted to be a different doctor, a doctor who cares for his patients. And today is a very good day. A doctor who can give compassion, can embrace the patient with love. Dr. Baclini told me that his lungs are functioning better and can sit down and talk to the patient, alleviate his or her anxiety and fears. In 1968, he moved to the U.S. and trained with some of the top pioneer oncologists in the field, first at Sloan Kettering in New York, followed by MD Anderson in Houston. When I finished my training in 71, I returned to Beirut and I established the first cancer treatment and research program in the Arab world. That was at the American University of Beirut. One of the many doctors he has trained is Dr. Khaled Jabouri. You have to believe that you can do it and you can achieve and progress is made. This is one very basic stand that he ingrained in me. It's very important to be the patient's protector, advocate, and supporter uh, because the road is quite 
difficult. Besides his humanistic bedside manner, Dr. Salem's research has led to some major breakthroughs. In the year 2005, the Nobel Prize was given to two Australian doctors who proved that a recurrent infection in the stomach would eventually produce stomach cancer. The cancer journal displayed on the cover my research to emphasize that the first evidence that a recurrent infection in the gastrointestinal tract would eventually lead to cancer was work done by us. The second concept that I introduced was the fact that sometimes when the cancer is limited to an organ, you may put a catheter directly in the blood vessel that feeds that organ and give the chemotherapy there, whereby you can give a higher dose of chemotherapy to the organ than to the rest of the body. But here I was one of several other people who did this kind of research. Hey, Dr. Salem, good afternoon. We have Mauricio and his wife, Gabriella. Dr. Salem felt it was important to get a quick assessment on what this therapy was doing. Dr. Salem also uses a unique approach in collaborating with his radiologist. A lot of physicians, it's enough for them to get a report from me. And so they read my report. If they have a question, they call me. With Dr. Salem, he tries to go a little bit further than most. Not just Dr. Salem and I review the images, but we review the images with his referring doctors. We review the images with the patients. If they have questions, um, they can ask me directly, what do I think? Let me accept At the same time that he's enriched the lives of his patients and, and the people he's worked with, he's, he's enriched my life. It's really refreshing to work with someone who is focused on patients um, in a truly compassionate, empathetic manner. And this collaboration is something he and his staff are totally committed to. Each day he meets with each of his colleagues to discuss each patient. And his caring goes beyond his own patients. Carla Placencia was two years old in critical condition and dying, having suffered a stroke, meningitis, and then cancer. Her parents admitted her to the intensive care unit of Herman Hospital. Even though Carla wasn't Dr. Salem's patient, he took an interest after her mother pleaded for help. We arrived to his office, and he was there, very kind, very nice, and he told us, why are you telling me you haven't even seen the doctors? He took his phone, he called, and then he hung up and he told us, you are going to arrive right now to the Herman Hospital. If there is no two doctors at least waiting for you in the entrance, you call me again. Carla survived, and today, in Dr. Salem's honor, the girl's family created a foundation in Mexico to financially aid children who are battling both cancer and poverty. Dr. Salem takes great pride in being the Director Emeritus of Cancer Research at Baylor's St. Luke's Medical Center in Houston. It's a lasting tribute to his leadership and vision in the field of oncology. And this year, to honor his contributions to cancer medicine and research, St. Luke's held its first inaugural Salem Lecture. I've learned that there's nothing more noble, nothing more grand, than salvaging life. To give life is the highest level of giving.